go back. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to upload two videos. I'm going to put them both in one because the second one is so super easy. It doesn't need its own separate video. But first, I'm going to make a really cool Mother's Day card. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. So, I mean, I got to get on this. in the envelope instead of the card just for something different so what I did is I took a five by five inch card and I cut the I flipped it up and then I cut the top off right so the flop is gone okay this is what it ends up looking like just a little envelope you know a little almost like a pocket sleeve then I took some deli paper you know we use this if we're going to make um do some print tape, uh, print making, half of a sheet, and completely cover up, completely, I used um, gel medium to glue down, you can use whatever good secure glue, and even glue stick, because glue stick, paper to paper glues really well, and glue it down, and then save the other half for another card. Again, it's the, um, these called sandwich wrap papers that I used for deli wraps and I have so many of them and I just thought you know let's try and use them in a different way so I'm just going to cut it in half because I can get two envelopes of one piece of paper and I've cut the top of both the envelopes just make sure that the opening is where the tops of this opening is. And then I simply use for my adhesive, I use gel medium, and it's just, um, whoopsie, regular gel medium, nothing fancy. But gel medium glue so well, you guys. It's uh, also a fantastic adhesive. So I just paint it all over the top of the envelope. And, then, and it's also quick. And then slather on top this sandwich wrap paper. Suppose you could use parchment paper, anything that gives you that crinkly, whatever you want, it's your card. I was even thinking of using sewing pattern paper because it's got that brownish color and kind of cool looking, you know? And it's been a while since I have been crafting. I've been reading and doing lots of book stuff and I'm also working on um, my ancestors' journal, so I'm going to be sharing that with everybody soon. So there, I've got that all glued down. We're going to do both of them, and then when they dry, I will cut them out. And it also doesn't buckle or bubble. That's what I love. Look how smooth that is. So I'll go ahead and do the second one and I'll be back when they're dry. Running through my big shot. And you could use any kind of embossing folder you want. I use this um, paisley one. But you could use flowers, whatever you think appropriate. Okay, I've got my big shot here. I don't know how much you can see, but here's my piece of paper just gonna pop it in my cuddle bug and what I did is I centered it because it doesn't completely fit because of the measurement so you can see on the edge there you see it's not completely on both edges so I just kind of centered it in the middle and just pop it in with the sandwich top on top and I'll give this a bit of a windy poo and there we go it's coming right to the camera here they are you can see better how i kind of centered it around the edges so i'm going to cut a piece of lace the size right down the side of here and i want the lace to hang off the edge a bit see I'm going to cut two of those 
and it doesn't matter if they're perfect length because they're going to be trimmed. And again, as always, I love to just use what I have, not go out to buy stuff to make this craft. The next thing I'm using is, this is a half of that doily thingy. So I'll just cut this in half, or fold it in half and just cut it. And then where are the right angles you know, when, when I'm doing my design, sometimes it's just where pieces fit the best. So I looked at these cut edges and I thought, okay, they go down in this corner. Where's the opening? You always have to keep checking for that opening because it's, it looks the same all the way around. Okay, so I took the two square pieces that like that and let the curvy part fall over the center of the envelope and then this will go underneath with the lace going outside like that and then this on top like that and we're going to go and sew that on the sewing machine keeping in mind you don't want to sew too far in here because it'll affect the size of our cart. Now I'm just going to quickly sew on that piece of lace. So I sewed some orange lace and I cut a doily in a quarter. And so I sewed the lace and the doily down. Okay, so we're all sewed as you can see. And then I found this uh, fabric that I had dyed with avocado pits. And this was just a um, leftover piece of fabric. This lace here was also dyed with avocado. I don't think people realize that when you boil avocado pits, the dye comes out this gorgeous dusky rose color. So anyway, this is just a piece of fabric. So I cut it in square and then I cut it. I should have made four of them because I'm cutting everything in squares, you know, in fourths. So I'm just going to place it. In. I want some more texture background on my envelope. I don't know why I am going through all this trouble for an envelope, but when you're done, you could store, you could keep this little envelope in your purse. You could keep tissues in it. You could even attach that. And then I'm just gonna add some little flowers or something in the corner and call it a day. So let me figure, I think I'm just gonna again, glue this on. So I found this really little pretty, pretty sparkly gorgeousness. So I cut little snips off and I glued them in the corner like that. And then I'm going to glue the roses on top like that. And that's going to be my envelope. Mm, I'm going to call her done. Because it's the envelope to the card. I haven't even made the card yet. <laughs> my circle punch to just punch a half circle to make a little thingy. I'm not sure if I'm going to ink around these or not. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to leave them like that. So I'll put that away. And we'll set these aside and let's get started on our cards really quickly. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. Did I mention that? I think I did. Okay, so I've got some pretty orange card stuff. It's almost a peachy color. The cards are four by four and one quarter. And I made sure that they fit inside of those envelopes before I went any further. And then I took some random card stock, and this is three by, I think it's a quarter of an inch smaller than the card. And this is two inches right here. Two by three. This is two by three. This is three by three and a quarter. And this is four by four and a half. Yeah. But you do whatever size fits in your um, envelope because that's going to determine after you sew if you sewed too much. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is glue all these pieces down. This is going to go like this. And then um, this piece here, I trimmed it with my scalloped edge at the bottom. It looks crooked, but then when I line it up on this line here, it's not. So... Maybe it's just me. So I'm gonna stamp it with Wonderful Mother and I'm gonna use the same ink that I used for the rest of the project, which was terracotta tile. Actually, the rest of the project, you probably didn't see me ink anything, 
but I cut out these pretty, pretty, I'm wondering what these are. I don't even know. They look like the plants we have in our backyard and I can't think of the name of them. But that's it there. And it's from a Because I Care stamp set. And then I'm going to do some fussy cutting and cut them out. But let me first stamp this. Because I realize I can't put anything bulky on the card because it won't fit in the envelopes, as you saw. And what I did is I made a little name thing on them and glued one in in so it can't come out. See? So this is how they'll get their card. I love this idea of decorating the envelope up. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Just a little extra embellishment. I love it. And I think what I'm going to do as I'm looking at them is put a little bit of stickles in these flowers and let them sit here and dry tonight. So anyway, let's go on to the card. It looks like this. And if you can see under the light, there's a little bit of stickly stuff I brushed on the leaf and the flower because remember I can't put anything bulky in here and I curled up this one kind of tore but that's okay I curled up whoopsie curled up one end of the cards as wonderful mother put those little gemstones on and then inside I just stamped I'm so grateful there's you in the world and then I'll write her little message so they're all identical so that's what they look like guys Perfect. I'm so glad I got my mojo back. So now stay tuned. I'm not sure how long this video is because I don't want to make it super long. So I think, well, the other one's so short. <laughs> it's not going to much matter. But I'll try to put it right now. Welcome back to my crafting channel. I haven't crafted in forever. Um, what you're looking at here, sorry for me moving around, is some teacups that I've had in my cupboard for I don't know how long. These aren't Royal Albert China. They are China, but they're not, you know, Royal Albert or any of those other kinds. But today, Richard and I were at our favorite greenhouse, and I'm out of breath because I had to run downstairs and get some glue. And we saw the cutest bird feeders. And all you have to do is add some E6000, as you can see what you're doing over there, on what you want the finished thing to look like is like that. And then once that's done, you put some bird seed here and hang it by something really strong here. And so I thought tomorrow's Mother's Day, I'm going to whip these up for everybody. I'm going to make five of them. And uh, I'm going to let them dry overnight. And then I'll wrap the bird seed in some kind of a parchment something so it looks really cool with a ribbon. And I just think these will be gorgeous. A very quick, quick, quick Mother's Day present. Aren't they the cutest? We saw these at St. Albert Greenhouse. And they also had these teapots that were birdhouses. So we're gonna figure out how to make those later. But this is so cute because I knew I had these cups in the cupboard. I knew it because they're not, you know, they're not my faves. I mean, I have a whole bunch of china, but I would never do this too. But these ones are perfect, absolutely perfect. So he's just gonna apply sort of like to the I think it's to this part, Richard, like that front lip, yeah, right there. And we're guessing E6000 is the best, don't you think, Richard? I think so, I don't know. Because nothing else would glue. And then the back part's going to have to glue that little, um, hang on. Yeah, you know, it's got to sit right there. So that is exactly Yeah, right exactly. Oops, just like that, and just yeah. sit it down. And that's really it, isn't it? Just and just let it dry. Make sure, oh, make sure the hanger is Center. centered right there. We're all glued. We're on the very last one. Five minutes for Five all minutes. of them. It's all done. <laughs> and project finished. 
So I, you, now it's just the embellishment. You price it? Oh, I think. It, let me do it later. It's probably taking a while. I know. I was like, would you really glue these? Because I have later. something to do. I'll do it later. And do I do my something? No, I stand here and watch you while you're doing this. Perfect. Easy peasy. Look at this. I mean, it's not dry yet, but you know, E6000 is the best. So here is how everything looks. There's the card. This is the bird cedar seeds, um, bird feeder. And I put the seeds in a CD envelope so you could see them. I thought that was clever. And there's the cup and the corn in there. And then the hanger, we decided that double green wire was the best. And if they want to shorten this, they can. They can just twist it and hang it wherever they would like. Isn't that a pretty present? And then each one of them is going to get an ivy. I like that Prezi. I would love this present for myself. So we're off to deliver and happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. And thank you for your support. Love you very much. And, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.